Boys and girls, for some reason, every time I look at a tree, I just have to decorate it for Christmas. I don't know what it is, but it's a passion of mine. Maybe it's something that happened to me when I was little. Master Willie, under no circumstances do I want you to touch that tree. Do not decorate it. Do not touch it. I have it just perfect. Leave it alone. Now I'm going to work. Lately, I've been doing a lot of thinking, boys and girls. You know, I need a ministry. You know what a ministry is, don't you? It's something you do special to help other people. Since I love decorating Christmas trees so much, that would be a perfect ministry for me. That's what I'll do. I'll start a Christmas tree decorating ministry to help others who don't know how to do it right. Here's an old plain tree that's just begging to be decorated into a festive Christmas showcase, boys and girls. I'll just grab some ornaments and such and transform it before the owners notice. Well, normally, boys and girls, one should ask for permission to mess with someone's tree, but I don't think the nice lady of the house will mind too much. Hey! Leave my tree alone! Get off my property! What are you doing? Well, ma'am, you're benefiting from my latest ministry. I decorate trees for those unable to beautify their surroundings by themselves. Now you have a wonderful Christmas tree. Hey, I just thought up the name for my ministry. Well, you know, kind lady, sometimes the ministry people resist the most is the ministry you end up needing. Just accept my kind gesture and pass on the Christmas spirit to someone else. I'll come by and pick up the ornaments after the holiday season is over. Every ministry needs a name, and I've made a sign to hang on my utility van. I've decided to call it The Tree Ministry. Now it's official. I can help others, and I have a catchy name to put on Facebook. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there's a lonely and bedraggled tree that needs some special attention. I don't know how people got along before my ministry came along. Are you insane? What are you doing to me? Ah! What are you doing? What are you doing? Leave me alone! Leave me alone! In retrospect, boys and girls, I may have to clean my glasses every morning. Things are looking a bit fuzzy. Sorry, lady. I thought you were a big draggled tree. Feel free to wear your festive ornaments with your handsome frock. Here's my chance to redeem myself. This gentleman doesn't know it yet, but I'm going to decorate his tree before he gets home. Won't his wife be surprised? I'm sure I will prevent an unpleasant Christmas tree argument. Sometimes the holiday brings so much anticipation, boys and girls. Reality can seem a bit disappointing. Ah, ow! I would advise you, boys and girls, not, not to try this while you're operating a vehicle when you grow up. I, I'm not even sure I would do this in real life. Oh my, I could be at home right now, in my workshop, being safe and sound. Hold on. Okay. Here I go. Do you sometimes get yourself into a situation and you wonder, how did I get here? Lord, I promise if you get me out of this situation, I'll try to use a little more wisdom next time. You get the strangest looks from other drivers when you're hanging on a tree for dear life. Uh-oh, I think this tree's a fixin' to come loose from the trunk. I hope the tree will cushion my fall! Ah, uh, normally this is a time that one would reassess their goals and readjust their minister to reflect those goals. In other words, just give up, but Mr. Willie never gives up. I may take a few days to recover from my bumps and bruises, but give up never. I am glad that the tree ministry only lasts one month, though.